Hey, what's up? Yeah. I took a couple ibuprofen because I've been shooting all day, so now I feel better. I cleaned all the, uh, the mud off of me. Um, there's something I've been doing for some time now. I should have made a video about it earlier, but I didn't think about it until I was going to go out and shoot today. Is that uh, the Nikon D7100 and the Nikon D750 have a tiny design flaw, and they always have, and it's no big deal. Now, I've always got replacements. These are cheap crap made in China. You can get for like three three bucks. They're, they're the DK21 regular uh, eyepiece uh, replacements for the real one. It's the only difference is this is Nikon D2100 on. It's made very, very slightly better. But it's just plastic with two screws, and it's a two-piece of plastic mold with a rubber eye cup uh, piece around it. But anyway, when you're out shooting, um, I, uh, depending on how you're packing your camera, I have an issue, and so do other people, where uh, sometimes you drop your camera to your side, and it's very easy for this uh, viewfinder piece on your D7100 or your D750 to do that number. I've lost, you know, three or four of them over uh, some time. No big deal. You don't have to buy the original and get these cheap Chinese crap for like three bucks. It's the same thing. But to keep them on there so I don't lose them, and a little trick I found is that you take a piece of like uh, good industrial duct tape and uh, you put a little piece right here and you tape it to the top of the eyepiece and the, the other half of it to uh, the base of the top of uh, the pentaprism, i.e. Uh, the base of uh, behind the hot shoe right here. Therefore your eye cup actually can't lift up. Well, it can a little bit, but it won't actually go flying off while you have it on your side and that number happens because this is the little design flaw that I always hated about Nikon's eyepieces it is I'll have it on my side with my uh, black rapid strap and uh, it'll be rubbing against my body as I'm walking and that happens <laughs> and that's exactly what happens so but a little piece of industrial it's black duct tape too by the way if you go to the hardware store most useful stuff in the world duct tape is okay which is silver but this stuff is black and it's made by 3M, and it's called uh, Heavy Duty Duct Tape. I use it for everything. Duct tape is incredibly useful, but it's kind of shitty. Um, here, let me show you a roll of it. It's like I've always got a roll of industrial duct tape somewhere. There it is. It looks just like that. It's made by 3M. It's the best thing since sliced bread. Um, but if you don't want to do that, you can always buy uh, some of these $3 replacements off of eBay. They're made by slave labor in China. And that is how... If you're going to be out shooting like I was today, and my feet are killing me, um, you fix the design flaw of uh, your Nikon D750 and D7100. Oh, I need to take another ibuprofen. My feet are still killing me. Uh, let me know if you got any questions. Okay? And, uh, oh hell, I forgot another really cool video I was going to show y'all. That's what they say in Kentucky, and that's how they go instead of you, you old people, they say y'all. Um, although I don't talk about the, talk exactly the same as the people that surround me, but once in a while I'll uh, default to that. Catch